WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on an important Fed day. And as we await to see where we are on the decision right now, and we got markets trading higher. Nonetheless, S&Ps, you see the bid. We're up by 25 points, make it 31. The market likes what's going on right now. As I jump around for the headlines right now, and it's uh, 50 basis points, I think. The market never gets it wrong, right? Boy, this is going to be an interesting one, man. Stay tuned for the next half hour. 50 basis points. They do it. Oh, boy. All right. Here we go, folks. We're off to the races. S&P is up by 38 points right now. NASDAQ 100 up 166. It is risk on markets to higher territory. Uh, I can't wait to see how things move this hour. There's your dollar. 140. I'm anticipating this one. Gold. Well, that could have been higher. 26.10, not even at all time highs. Check out the dollar, man. DXY, 137 right now. And you jump over to the 10 year. Higher price, lower yield. You get a spike to 115.09. You take out the, um, you check out the 10 year right now. 3.66, just back to where you were this morning. Markets were pricing a two to one probability that the Fed was going to go 50. And sure enough, the Fed delivers, and we have the S&Ps spike to all-time highs. You got to love it. The Fed is cutting with 50 because they feel like time is of the essence, and the market says we're going to all-time highs. They slash their rate by 50 basis points. The two-year drops to 3.56, 50 basis points it is. And yeah, Chairman Powell, he's going to be coming up live at 2.30. I'm going to come back. I'm going to be live from 2 until 2.30. And we are going to get an interesting market. S&Ps, they like that. Rates coming down. The dollar, not so much as in yields, going to drop. We drop all the way to 137. We're at 156. Markets are trading higher. Can't wait to hear why Chairman Powell says they had to go 50. They couldn't wait. They couldn't do 25. Time was now what I wonder on my own why didn't they go 25 six weeks ago if they feel like they need to go 50 now what was the difference in the last six weeks if they thought it was time why didn't they go 25 we're going to find out i'm sure he's going to get a question to that degree why they have to go 50 why not 25 and what's he going to say we'll find out we got 27 minutes i'll be live coming back folks until 2 30 we'll break down some of the action in we'll the watch these trading, markets and we'll await powell at 2 30 like 50 Kesevento, basis points we'll be right back pro with over 50 years of experience larry has seen it all a former chicago